Welcome to another edition of Identity Box Blockchain Trends. Today, um, I wanted to cover this as a special program or a special edition of the show um, because I wanted to cover uh, the, the recent victory of the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, it's, it's great for the city, great for the team, great for the Hunt family, but this show is designed for the Kansas City Chiefs fans. Um, I noticed right after the game ended all this different memorabilia that um, start popping up, all these different jerseys, different shirts, different everything, all kinds of liabilities if we look at it that way. And, and what do I mean by liabilities is um, if, if we look at um, uh, things between assets or liabilities, if we look at those as investments, even though it's, it's for a team, it's, a, it's, a, it's for the Chiefs, it's for a Super Bowl win, we can still invest or we can still buy things that could gain uh, some type of value in the future and make it into an asset. So instead of investing maybe into a jersey uh, that we're going to buy it today and then three, four, or five days from now after we use it, it's just not good anymore. Um, we can invest maybe in some type of collectible that in the next five to 10 years is going to go up in value. Maybe we can invest in some type of precious metal that is collectible f about the Super Bowl itself. And I'm, we're going to discuss some of them here in the, in the next few minutes. And that way we can see how uh, the difference between, a, a, as I mentioned, an asset and a liability. So in this infograph from Wall Street Mojo, we can see uh, uh, the difference between an asset versus a liability. So the primary difference between assets and liabilities is that assets is anything which is owned by the company to provide the economic benefits in the future, whereas liabilities are something for which the company is obliged to pay it off in the future. So of course, here we mean the company, we mean you. So we're trying to uh, figure or we're trying to visualize as uh, what we're gonna comment on today is instead of the company, you're gonna be the company. So you're gonna be the one investing in either assets or liabilities when it comes to even the chief. So we're gonna use an example. For example, this jersey. If we look back 10 years ago, the Chiefs uh, uh, traded for this quarterback named Matt Castle. They traded for uh, him and Mike Grable from the New England Patriots. So uh, most of the fans, they thought that he was gonna be the one to save the team. He was gonna be the one to bring the team's uh, first championship in 40 years at that point. And uh, it didn't happen. They signed him for six years, $60 million. They were gonna give him more than 40 if he, signed, if he played for at least three, which he did. So he did get that money. Um, but the thing is, this jersey ended up costing me $10 literally $10 after he was uh, let go by the team. He, was in the, he got ended up uh, cut off by the team. Um, and this was like $110 jersey, and then I, I ended up getting it for $10 right afterwards. So I'm not trying to say anything's going to happen with Pat Mahomes. Obviously, he's young. He's 24 years old. He's probably going to be here for the next 10 years. But what I'm trying to say is that anything could happen. So instead of investing in jerseys, instead of investing in maybe some type of ticket stubs, uh, uh, we can, I can, I'm going to show you here some of the different memorabilia that's been popping off just in the last 24 hours. So as we can see here, these are some of the, the easy examples. We can see something that's a replicated ticket, replicated signatures, uh, but then it's getting sold for $60, $59.99. This is something that the second that you buy, it's it's not going to be worth it. Not, it's not going to be even worth ten dollars. You couldn't find anyone in the street that would give you ten dollars for this because it's just it, this is being uh, replicated in 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 mass. So obviously, a lot of people can get access to this. Anyone that wants to spend sixty dollars will be able to get this. Then we have obviously the different jerseys. It's going to be. Jerseys is $79.99, $119.99, $45, 
$79.99. So as we can see, these are items that, is, as I mentioned, the second that you buy them, you get them away from the store, or let's say someone gets traded from a team, somebody gets cut, somebody signs with another team with free agency, and then all of a sudden you're stuck with a jersey that the player, as I mentioned, the, the best example is this one. I'm going to show some of the different options that we, that we have seen that are uh, something that you can invest. It's going to remind you of the Super Bowl. It's going to give you some type of return, especially in the future. And that way you're not going to be stuck buying something that uh, in the next three, four, five years is not going to be worth anything because we have to remember um, the economy is not changed just because the Chiefs won the Super Bowl last night doesn't mean that the economy is better. It doesn't mean that you can put all this stuff on credit and then everything's just going to be fine. You're not going to be getting any races. You're not going to be getting a cut of the Chiefs uh, Super Bowl win uh, bonus. That's something for them, obviously, and they'll, they'll get to at least – get uh that's something that a lot of people are not commenting but they're gonna get a lot of bigger chunk this year because the super bowl was played in miami and as a lot of people know uh there's no state tax in miami it's not like how it was in minnesota when the super bowl was up there and then they had to pay federal tax on the bonus and then they had to pay state tax on the bonus so the teams are actually going to get a bigger cut of that bonus uh, for winning the super bowl so good for them but then when it comes to the fans, as I mentioned, um, we continue to invest in liabilities. We will go, we'll buy these jerseys, we'll buy uh, uh, T-shirts, we'll buy all these banners, all this replica memorabilia. That the second that you get it out of the store, unless you can return it and they'll be able to take it back, which they'll probably won't, um, you won't be able to get any type of value. So as I mentioned, I'm going to show you some uh, other options that you'll be able to invest in and then let's say four five ten years down the road you're actually going to have an increase of value on your original purchase so for example the flip coin of the super bowl so this is obviously a replica of the super bowl coin that they flipped to start the game and to pick what side uh, the different teams are going to choose either to kick or they're going to receive in either the first or the second half and then which side of the field they're going to choose. Um, so this coin, this is one of a 1,000. This coin is going to be around $130, one troy ounce silver. But then obviously being a one in 1,000, this coin being $130, that means that in the next just two years, this coin is going to be $300 all day. So this is the type of investment that you would want to do. You don't want to invest $129 on a jersey. You want to invest $129 on a coin that is going to duplicate its value in the next three to five years. This one's a cool option. This one's going to be one in 5,000. So you're going to get a one in 5,000 coin. And this one's valued at $124. But then this type of coins that are limited edition, they're going to go up in value. It's supply and demand. Then again, we have to be careful of what we look out out there. This is this would be a one in ten thousand limited edition coin, but this is only uh, silver plated. So this would be a twenty nine ninety nine coin. So it looks like it's a little over spot price, being that spot right now is around eighteen dollars. But then obviously, this is not a coin that would be valuable. So this would, in my opinion, this would be a liability because you're spending on this coin $30 and the second that you get it, you wouldn't get anyone to pay you even $10 that you're going to spend in shipping because uh, this is not real silver. So you wouldn't be able to get it in a pawn shop. You wouldn't be able to sell it for a silver weight. And then, um, as I mentioned, I mean, it, it looks all pretty. You want to get something that's actually valuable. So if at one point something happens, you can actually sell it and then you're going to get some type of money back. So yes, friends, um, I wanted to share that video, especially as I mentioned with the Kansas City Chiefs fans, because I know that we're in a good time. The parade is going to happen just uh, here on Wednesday. Um, and a lot of people, they'll just go ahead, they'll buy all these Super Bowl winner uh, uh, jerseys and hoodies and all this different memorabilia, as I mentioned. But this is something that just next year and a few months from now, this is not going to be worth the money that you're going to invest. 
if you're going to put all this uh, purchases in a credit card, if you're going to have to pay it in a long term, so you're actually going to have to add to the value of what we're already mentioning, if you have to um, uh, add interest, if you have to add penalties, if you have to pay anything after that, it would be even more. Imagine if you get a jersey for $150 and you had to pay a penalty for $30 if you pay that month late or something like that, God forbid, um, then it would be even more. Well, if you invest in something like precious metal, it's you're still getting your chiefs, you're still getting a nice uh, silver coin though, that it's gonna be an investment for the future. Um, so another thing you have to be careful though, even if you're going to start buying the jerseys, I don't want to be anti jersey. I, I love jerseys. Uh, but then uh, make sure that you're buying them from a reputable place. Um, you might be getting even uh, a full paying full price for a replica or even an imitation. I mean, there's, there's a thing getting a replica. This would be a replica. Uh, jersey but then there's one thing to get a replica one thing to get imitation so you are even getting uh, ripped off even more because then you're buying something that's not only a liability you might be putting it on a credit card but then it's not even an original replica or memorabilia of the game or the team um, so you want to make sure that uh, you're not wasting your money that way uh, so if you're not um, seeing it as an investment, then at least not see it as a ripoff. So don't get uh, ripped off either. You know that here identity block. This is always our main uh, focus. We don't want. We want to make sure that all our viewers uh, know what they're doing. That are not getting ripped off. That are not getting scammed with all these different offers that are going to show up in the next two or three months. Because we know that that's what happens. The team wins, and then other people see that as an opportunity, they see that as uh, the low hanging fruit, and then they go and they attack. They wanna make sure that they know that all people are gonna be buying stuff, they're gonna be buying memorabilia, they're gonna be buying uh, replica of this, sign autographs of that, so make sure that you're getting um, a certified memorabilia. That way, if you think you're buying something that was autographed by player XYZ, that you're actually getting that memorabilia until we implement the blockchain for all this different verification and all this different uh, process of the of that chain of, of uh, supply chain. That way we can know who signed it, what day, how did it get to me, and, and, and it's certified. That way you're guaranteed that you're getting what you're buying. The identity block will continue uh, sharing any type of information that we can find. That way we can make sure that you're buying what you are what you think you're getting or that you're buying something that's going to be an investment for the future or is not an actual liability. That's an asset for the future. Uh, so everyone remember that you can contact us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, or Instagram, all under identity block. LLC. You can also contact me on Facebook or on LinkedIn. So remember to catch us on the next one and we'll see you around the block.